We got some uh, threaded um, threaded cutting nut on the bottom. Got some threaded rod and uh, T nuts. Uh, it's a six inch threaded rod, and my thinking is that I'm going to pop rivet the T nuts into the bottom of the Heine keg, and that would be better than drilling a hole and applying nuts and washers because the pressure um, would be downward on top of this instead of um, on the fabric of the, of the uh, keg itself. The threaded rod seems like a good idea um, for helping dissipate heat because of the increased surface area um, because of the threads. And the foot, that cutting nut just seemed like a decent idea to help disperse heat before you put it um, on, for example, the bottom of a tent or something that's combustible. Also, if you're if you if you don't have any combustible under it and you're using soil and such, then it just seems like it would give it a real nice footing. It would dig into uh, snow, ice, and wouldn't slip. I think it's coming along now. All right, we're almost through with the mini keg uh, wood stove. It's not a Heineken, this one I think is a Newcastle. Um, and it's coming together, I believe. Got the vent here. Locking mechanism. This is a Sapporo beer can with a, um, I guess you'd call it a union that I made from another Sapporo beer can that's been riveted into the mini keg. And it's just about done. Back again taking a look at this. I decided to try and put a heating tray top of the, the stove. Um, course there is a gap on the side and the surface is not completely smooth I had a couple of different pots up on top they they seem to sit pretty well there's a little lip so if you get some boil you know some boil over or a little condensation um, it'll drip onto the pan seems kind of to be a cool idea I know the the surface is rippled and it would probably work better if it wasn't but at this point you're probably going to be able to boil water anyways. I'll be testing that as soon as I light it. Um, you probably will be able to boil water. If not, you'll be able to certainly heat it and get it very close. So you could, you could pasteurize water. So any fluid that is, you know, up here heating up and being introduced to the body is going to help warm you uh, much more effectively than warm air around the body.